CitizenCon 2954 just ended and the missed Star Lancer has finally been revealed. This was uh, leaked a while back, but uh, it's really exciting to finally see it. And um, it's actually shocking because uh, this will be available flight ready, I believe, this IAE. So um, it's really exciting. So let's quickly uh, go over this three variants that uh, um, CIG mentioned. The Let me close this here. The... Um, the first variant is the base builder, which is not included uh, in here. But um, then there's the max, which is the cargo variant and the tack, which is going to be the tactical variant, which is uh, military focus. So we're going to go through it and uh, see uh, what this ship is about. OK, so before we get into it, I'd like to let you all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI at least in order to participate you have to be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of december all right so now so it says here go the distance the star lancer series has arrived a versatile transport chassis built specifically for deep space operations giving you the dependability you expect from misc and the flexibility you need in an ever-changing universe designed to carry huge payloads the max variant allows you to go big with the massively expansive cargo deck really interesting okay so um let's uh, look at the trailer here This ship is a beautiful ship. It, it, I love the design of it. It's a, it's a solid looking ship. Okay. Um, so this, for those that don't know, this is Levski, by the way. And uh, finally, we're seeing more on Levski. We're no, no longer being teased with Pyro now that it's now in Evocati hands in the PTU. So, which is really good. All right. So let's look at some of the images that they have here. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice uh, shot here. Really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, okay, okay. Solid ship, man. So, uh, it says here, Star Lancer, need more firepower, Star Lancer, tack, which is the next one we'll cover. Um, so, let's, uh, we'll cover, uh, we'll go through this one. Okay, so, this one, it's more images they have here. Man, this thing has a big cargo bay. It's really nice. Man. It's a really nice ship. All right, so they have some skins. So this one is a special skin that they have for it. Um, I'm really digging it. I'm really, really digging it. Um, so let's look at the standard one, which is a silver, the Miss Silver that everybody's familiar with. There's Wildcat. That looks really nice. Snowcap. That's also pretty nice. And uh, Pacific, which is really nice. My very favorite is a Sapphire, which is really, really nice. So 
This ship is 83 meters long and 52 meters wide, 60 meters high, 224 SEU of cargo, which is which isn't that bad. It's it's uh it's pretty decent. A crew of four. It has uh, size four guns and size three missiles. Now, how many of that? All right, Starlands and Max, Hall, Vian arrives in IAE. So this ship is meant to arrive in IAE, which is really good. So they have some special offers here. Is there more stats? Okay, so they have the specs here. So let's see. Okay, so now this is the spec sheet here for it. Okay, so it seems like there's a, a turret on the top and the bottom. Let, let me see here. Turret in the top. These are the, the typical freelancer um, uh, guns, the dual guns on the sides, which is really nice. Turret on the top. And I believe a turret in the back, which is really nice. All right, so it says stations, including um, one pilot seat, one co-pilot seat, an engineer and a gunner seat. One size two life supports, a quantum fuel tank one, uh, fuel tank one, propulsion power plant, is uh two size two power plants two size two power plants okay uh one size two q drive it's a size two q drive i would expect it a size three but that's interesting one size two jump drive um thrusters avionics computers radar none of these are in the game right now so i i don't know how to further expand on them but System shield generator, so one size three shield generator. So it's, a, it's gonna be a bit tanky. So comparable to your uh, MSR um, uh, with the size three shield generator. So the even even the 600i, I believe has a size one, a size three shield generator. But when we compare into, compare the sizes, if you want, there was a ship to compare to, it's, it's going to be the 600i that you would compare this to in terms of sizing, okay? So, uh, two size two coolers, one size one gravity generator, and two size two batteries. So now, the weaponry, right? So it's a, a controlled, um, piloted controlled, two times dual length turret. So, so the, these are the, the two in the front here, right? Those are the two in the front there. And um, then there's a turret, a remote turret with two size fours, which isn't bad. And then there is a uh, the missiles, which is four bespoke uh, quad launchers, four X uh, size threes, which is not bad. So, man, this has a turret in the front and a turret in the back. So I guess that's what the gunner seat is and the co-pilot seat two turrets that's 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 pretty good that's pretty good it's really really good okay all right so that is the freelancer max now right now uh with uh war bond you get uh you can get it if you if you get in the three concierge or the chairman's club you can get it for 225 and these these are the prices they come with a skin pack as well um but uh, if you want to get it uh with in-game you're looking at 225 as well uh, for in-game but um uh, no this one is this one is war bond but in-game you get it for 10 year insurance instead of lti you get it for 250. i think they're selling two together maybe these are the two different variants let's see yeah if you want to get both uh it's uh this price here all right all right so um so that is the max so now let's look at the tac the tactical variant of this okay i don't know why it took me all the way to the bottom so this is the tactical variant it seems like it has the two turrets 
on the top, but I believe he has more weaponry. It says, uh, when the space uh, gets dangerous, uh, get tactical. It says the free, the Star Lancer series has arrived versatile transport chassis uh, built specifically for these space operation, giving you the uh, dependability you expect uh, from MISC and flexibility uh, within an ever changing universe designed to take serious threats head on and excel in combat zones. The attack variant comes factory equipped with an uncompromising defensive loadout. Interesting. So it seems like it has the two turrets on the top, the two side uh, dual link uh, uh, cannons on, a, on, a, on the uh, both sides, but also has these guns on the side, these broadside guns as well, which is really interesting. So it says the Star Lancer series is built for deep space operations with a stout quantum jump drive and a sturdy, dependable build uh, you've come to expect from MISC. This thing even has a bay for, oh my goodness, it has a bay for a, uh, a Fury. So that's, that's nice. That's a good, that's a plus right there. That's really nice. It says here, tactical loadout. The TAC um, adds a second shield generator. Um, also two shield generators, that's nice. Two manually operated size five dual mount turrets. That's insane to the uh, Star Lancer already stout defense package. Two tier three med beds, med beds, two med beds and a fury hanger complete the package. That's insane. That is insane. All right. All right. So remote operated tur uh, missile turrets. Okay. Remote operated size uh, four dual mount turrets. So that's uh, um, the turret in the back. Remote operated size four dual mount turret. Again, manually operated size fives. Okay, so these are size fives. Dual turrets. That's crazy. Link size four dual uh, link turrets. That's that's crazy. We spoke quad rack launcher with four size three missiles. That's that's insane. So these are the these these are the, the med beds it looks like here. They have more images. Really, really interesting. Okay, I guess I guess this is the seat for the turret. And man, you can, you can, it's essentially a drop ship as well, man. This is a multi-row vehicle for sure. And this is the, I guess the default skin for the TAC. And the second one is the Mojab. Really interesting. Very, very powerful. It's a seven man crew with uh eight jump seats that's interesting two times size three shields that's that's really impressive that's really impressive very very powerful very very powerful all right so now the tack with in-game with um store credit 330 and 295 if you want to get it uh warbond okay Really nice, really, really nice. Really nice. Interesting. Okay. All right. So that is the Star Lancer. Really exciting ship. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Is this something you're going to get? Is this something that uh, you find interesting? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.